What up, what up, YouTube? This your boy HP, you know what I mean? Back again with another video to let y'all see the difference between the uh, 3D whitener, what I was telling you about previously, and the regular toothpaste. We're gonna see which one clean, which better. I got gold and everything, million dollar mine, mine, whole lot of chain, chain, doing everything, that my chain, gang, playing down, flexing up the chain, down, flame will make it change, down, just try to stay the same, got my whip on the thing. So on one, I'm gonna use the 3D whitener, and on the other one, I'm going to use the regular toothpaste. We can see which one do the uh, job, you know what I'm saying? Just the regular toothpaste right here. You know, I got baking soda and peroxide in there. But this the teeth whitener, but this like the regular teeth whitener. This not like, this the 3D teeth whitener right here. And so remember, I was telling y'all that this stuff get majority of all the stuff out. It get it back to a nice clean, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm gonna let y'all see the difference in what I mean by it. So, let's get started. Let's get the teeth wet a little bit. I guess we're gonna use this one first. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all see the inside. See, it got that little stuff in there. I think I'm gonna use this one on the 3D whitener because I'm the mainly I'm just gonna show y'all how we get all the stuff out the inside. You see that? I haven't cleaned these mugs in a couple of days, so that's why I look like that. Well, we're more than a couple of days. So, you can tell when my teeth might be bleeding at right there. Uh, right there. You know what I'm saying? That's mainly from not brushing my teeth, like, and putting them in. So I had to do that just to give y'all an example. But don't go with about brushing y'all teeth, man. Make sure y'all brush y'all teeth. All right? So, let's go. 3D teeth whitening. I had to go get some just for this video so I can show y'all the difference. Like, this stuff really do the job, man. And this stuff, it cleans your goals, but it don't clean it as good as this stuff. So I'm going to just show y'all the difference. All right? So, I'm going to start off on the inside of this. We're going to clean this one up first. Yeah, one guy was saying use vinegar to um, prevent all the scratching and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, I'll be reading y'all comments and stuff, man. And another guy was saying use some type of metal cleaner, which I have done that before, but when you use that, you kind of like gotta boil your grill and stuff because you do not want to get that shit in your mouth. You'll fuck around and be sick. So, I'm just gonna clean these up real good, get them a nice little brush down. I need to be standing up. Oh, my bad. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody that subscribed. And I see you, we, ain't, we done got up to 450 since the last video. I was hoping for what? I think 400. We was almost at 400, almost at 300, I think. And now we at 450. The squad was going up good. I watch time minutes going up good. Hey, that's what's up, man. My bad, I keep going out of focus and stuff. Alright. So. Yes, I'm trying to clean it the best I can get it with this. Put a little water on that. Yeah, any music y'all be hearing playing on my channel, man, that's my music, you know what I'm saying? I don't put nobody else's music on there. So that's music that we be making in the studio and stuff, so. Uh, soon I'll be putting up some videos and some tracks and stuff, because I see people asking me about the music and stuff, so. 
I'll be putting that up there somewhere. Alright, so that's kind of clean. It ain't all that. Let's see. Alright, give me some more. Alright, how's it going? See, I'll leave it right there. Clean it up a little bit on the front. You know what I'm saying? Still got the little stuff in between, let me see. So let's try to hit those. we gonna get out of that one so it came out pretty smooth but well, let's dry it on okay. all right we see the back the inside alright y'all so that's how it look after you clean it with the regular toothpaste you see it got it pretty clean but it ain't all that all that clean so now that was with this two plates right there so now what we're gonna do is let's clean this off first hold on give me a second all right y'all so that was that with the baking soda and peroxide teeth whitening that's how it got clean with this it looked pretty smooth you know what i'm saying but it ain't all that clean you see the inside i got it, it got all a little bit you know what i'm saying it, it was okay. Alright, but next we're gonna do. You see that? That's mainly the thing we're gonna be looking at. You see that black spot? You know? We're gonna be getting the rest of the stuff up out of there. Let's see. And see how good it uh, cleans it and stuff. So next we're gonna be using this right here. Just gonna open him up. Still got the little thing on that, but it's coming up. Okay. Put a little bit on that. More rinse water. Alright. See, you can really tell this got uh, peroxide in that because. It'll start foaming and stuff. All right, now y'all see why I say this stuff better? You see how it's foaming up? See what I'm saying? What I do is I just put this on there for a couple of seconds. You know what I'm saying? Get it all around it. Let it sit for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's just put a little bit more water. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. You know what I'm saying? Do what it do. 
it's gonna be getting all that little stuff out of the inside, you know what I'm saying? Cleaning it up real good, you know what I mean? So we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Well no, we're gonna let the video play. We're gonna let it play. Let y'all see. Let's see how like it all formed up and stuff. So that's pretty much what y'all want to happen. Nah, we're gonna pause the video. I know y'all always wanna see the grill just sitting there and stuff. So we're gonna come back once it's done. Alright y'all, we back, man. I let it sit for a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna see what it do. You know what I'm saying? Put some rinse water on there. Go and get back to the wiper. The main thing, like I say, we looking for is getting that black spot out of that. So y'all seen it right before I started the camera up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just brushing it a little bit. All right, now dip. All right, you see the difference? Major difference. You see that? This shit don't play no games, man. This plus them gold wipes. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. Like I told you, this don't really shine your grill, but it'll get it back to where it get that smoker's look off of it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what this do, man. It, it prepares it to, uh, to be clean. With the gold rag. You know what I'm saying? Once you do this, you can use a, a regular gold rag. The, you know, like, okay, the blue gold rags, I think, clean better than the pink gold rags. So, it depends on where you get your gold rags. Who, like, probably people that's down south, they probably still got all the original stuff. But up here, they don't water us down with the gold and the, um, the gold cleaner, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I use the gold wipes because the gold cleaner even been watered down with the gold. They done gave us a, some, I don't know what they did, what happened? I don't know if it, the prices done went up to ship the gold here or something, but everybody done went up on their prices and stuff and gave us a lower quality of material to stay within the same price bracket. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, it's cleaning it real good already. No. I'm sure look about the same. With the one at the bottom look cleaner. See that? See how I cleaned that out? Excellent. It look good, good. You see this one don't look so good. Even the back, even the other spots where it didn't really have so much on that still don't look as clean. So you know what that mean? Yeah, this one, this one the battle. So make sure you get the 3D white and the crest, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna clean it up like how it's supposed to be. Let me put some more of this up in there. Cause I want this more to be clean. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Clean it up. And then, after that do what it do, like I told you, man, see how I got that? They got that prepared. And once that happened, you hit it with that gold wipe. The next, uh, I'm going to show y'all what to do with the gold wipes after it's done. It's going to be real clean, man. So remember, this video is about the Crest 3D versus 
the uh, baking soda with peroxide, you know what I'm saying? Even though this say it got peroxide and stuff in that, but it's not as much as it is in here. This really cleans it, you know what I'm saying? This right here, uh, it does a pretty good job, but not as good as this. Like, this to go to, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And they went down on the prices of this stuff, so it's not as expensive as it was at first. And you can get the gold walk, uh, mouthwash, leave it sitting in the mouthwash. It's going to pretty much do the same thing. Uh, and to get your stuff clean, man. Now, for everybody that be talking about the scratches from the from the uh, toothbrush, well, you got to clean it with the toothbrush because that's a must. But I don't, I don't have too many scratches in my goals, you know what I'm saying? Well, I can show y'all how to get the scratches out your grill. That'll probably be the next video. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go from there. Yep. Thanks a million again, y'all, for all my subscribers. All everybody that's uh, commenting on the videos, man, that shit mean a lot to your boy. I'm watching, I'm paying attention to every video. I'm trying to respond, to, I mean, uh, to every comment. I'm trying to respond to every comment, good or bad, you know what I'm saying? So, you can leave your opinion down there, you know what I mean? That no, it ain't no hurt, as long as y'all watching the video, I guess. So, that's really the main thing. And so, yeah, we done got up to 450 subscribers. We almost at the 1,000 mark. I almost got my mark on the 240,000 watch time minutes. So, if y'all watch this video all the way up until now, man, big shout out to y'all, man. I love every one of y'all, man, real. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make the situation better for me. And it seemed like the YouTube was the only thing to make it happen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so this is the difference when you clean it with the gold rag. And just cleaning it with the uh, with the toothpaste. You see how it's, it look clean, but you see how it still got that dull look on there? And so if you just use toothpaste, this is how it's going to look. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to look as clean. Let's see, focus in on it. All right, you see it? See how it's a little duller then. Let's see. See the bottom one shining. And the top one just like duller. Let's show the back. See the difference? Sometimes them cracks hold up the clean in the inside. That's why I be telling y'all, like, when you got diamond cuts, that's going to be a major problem if you got diamond cuts in your mouth or what they call it, diamond slice, diamond cuts, uh, crushed diamonds, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard to clean the inside. Like, one guy was asking me about some gold nugget grills. On the comments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that stuff is kind of hard to clean in there. I don't know, I don't know what the hell they have they got in there. What the hell is that? Let me see. Oh, there's some ashes. Hold on. Some ashes got in there. But anyway, like I was telling y'all, man, that's how you get it clean, man. You want that mud to be icy, clean, shining. You know what I mean? Don't be out here looking crazy, man, with no dirty ass grills. So I don't know. I can't stress that enough. Sorry for the squeaking noise. That's how it sounds when it's scraping against that. But yeah, man. That's the difference, man. You want your shit to be clean, nice and clean, man. Get it clean. Don't be out here bullshitting yourself, man. Paying all that money for them grills. And don't want to keep your goals clean. So I can't stress that enough, you know what I'm saying? And so if everybody want to know what I'm using to clean my grills with, I'm using these gold wipes right here. You get them at Walmart, they're like five bucks. And this is how the wipes look. They look like little cloths, you know what I'm saying? 
One cloth shall last you all day for real, you know what I'm saying? And when it started getting that little black stuff on there, like this, that's just how it look when you clean your jewelry. All jewelry gonna come off like that. I don't care if it's clean and you clean it. It's still gonna come off with that black stuff. That's just how it looks when it react to the gold. So that don't mean your gold is real dirty. It just that's just what it happens. Alright, much love, man. Peace.